Okay, so with everything that has happened in the prop firm world over the last few weeks or even months, you have seen a lot of changes when it comes to actually using different platforms. For the most part, we've all been forced away from MT4 and MT5 to one of three other platforms, that being DX Trade, Match Trader, or the C Trader platform. Now, if you've watched my previous videos, I've already done a couple of videos on the DX Trade platform where you guys actually enjoyed that one. You asked a lot of questions and because of that i actually did a, a second video where i answered all your questions so make sure you check that out if you want to find out more about dx trade dx trade is quite a simple platform as is match trader which i talked about recently i think it was just last week i posted a video talking about match trader which is one of the other platforms very basic as well a very simple platform so you know go check that out if you are being forced over to that one of my other prop firms is forcing me over to that so i'm actually using all three of them but today what i'm going to be talking about is the only one i've not done a tutorial on or a uh, an overview video on and that, that is c trader so today that's what this video is exactly about it's going to be talking about c trader i'm just going to be going over the the overview the platform uh what it looks like how you can enter and exit trades um and i'm going to be Keeping it fairly simple, even though C Trader is a far more advanced platform than the other two, um, I think there's a lot more possibilities and you can actually do a lot more with the C Trader platform than the other two. But because the other two are so simple, I'm going to keep it simple. And if you guys would like another video where I actually go into more detail or there's specific questions you have about the C Trader platform, please put those in the comments. Ask me the questions and then maybe I will do a second video like I did with the DX trade where I actually answer your questions. But for today, we're going to keep it very simple. Now, the C Trader platform, uh, for me, I'm being pushed over to with uh, True Forex Funds. As you can see, True Forex Funds is back. And I've already got a couple payouts from True Forex Funds since they've come back. And I now am on um, another account which has got 102625 thousand in so i am waiting to take my withdrawal which i think will be tomorrow or the next day but i am going to use this account to actually talk through the platform because um why not right but i'm only going to be taking very small trades so this was actually all done with titan x and the prop farming blueprint i achieved this profit in 24 actually within 24 hours by using titan x i'd actually recently kind of stepped away from the prop farming stepped away from using anything um, I've done a little bit of manual, but for the most part, I've kind of just been taking it easy just because of everything that's been going on in the prop firm industry, in the prop firm world. Uh, but now that things are starting to settle and, you know, we're starting to see, okay, these are the platforms we can use. I've come back. Now, how did I use this? If, if people are using Titan X and the, the prop farming blueprint, you're probably asking, but how do you actually use that? Because we were using uh, MT5 with Titan. So how am I doing that? I actually use a copy trader. I copy everything over from MT5 onto the C Trader platform. And I'll talk about that at the end. So if that is something that interests you, make sure you stick around till then. But for now, let's just dive straight in. Quick video for you guys. I'm just gonna keep it simple. So first things first, you just click on the credentials button over here. You're, meet, you're greeted with this little pop-up. You can actually download the C Trader app or platform onto your computer. So if you're using Windows, Mac, whatever you're using, you can actually install it straight onto that. Uh, but I'm actually going to use the web client for the, the, the inf information and the, the description and the tutorial and just going over the actual uh, interface. Um, but I will be talking about the uh, Windows app later because that's what I use to actually copy trade. So with that being said, let's go straight into the web client. Now... It might log me straight in because I have already recently logged in. So let's see if this takes me straight in. Okay, there we go. It has taken me straight in. So if it doesn't take you in straight, you should see at the top right here, it should say log in. You just click that and use the same email and password for your prop firm. If you have trouble getting in, just check with your prop firm. They will guide you into how to actually log in. So mine went straight in because I was already logged in. Now you will see all the accounts that are connected to that account. Uh, with that prop firm, you would see them all there. So make sure when you're trading on it, you're selecting the correct one. So that's the one I want to trade on. Um, so with that being said, let's just go from left to right, guys. I'm going to keep it simple. So let's just go from, from left to right. So new order is just that. You click that, it'll just open up a new order button. There you can get into an order. I'm going to close that. 
Uh, let's just keep going. So this is just your your space. It, it's your, uh, so whatever I change here, so however I set up this, for example, let's say I turn off this at the bottom so I have a bigger screen there. If I like that, then I can save this. I click on this and I say save current workspace. Uh, I did this as just a test my space. Click on that. Okay, so that was one of the other ones. And now if I go back to my space, it'll open up my space. Uh, there we go. Okay, so anything I change to this this space will will be on my space So all the changes will be relevant to that So this is just where you can save your current workspace and you can go between a few if you have different strategies for example But there's also another way you can do that with the indicators I'll talk about that now this one is like I showed you it just closes and opens up these so you can close that you can close on the right so you can have a full screen if you want like that uh, or you can bring them back. So let's just bring them back for the sake of the video. Now let's keep moving on. Now over here, you've just got multi charts. So I'll just click open a new chart and I'll show you that. So this is single chart mode, uh, but if you click on the multi chart or even the free chart, it's the same thing. It'll show you all the charts that you can see. I think multi chart will show you maximum of four if I'm not mistaken. Um, and then the free chart, um, I think it's the same thing, but I think you just have a little bit more freedom over how you can kind of move, move them around. But for this video, I'm just gonna stick to the single chart. I'm gonna close that, we don't need that open. So let's keep moving along. Over here, we've got add new chart. So that plus tool will add a new, new chart and this will also add a new chart. So very basic, you click on that, it adds a new chart. So that's that. All right, so keep moving on. Uh, you've got zoom, you can zoom in and out, zoom in and out, that's basically what it does. It zooms in and out. Um, so that's what that is. Then we've got your how your chart is actually shown. So you can change this to bar chart, to line chart, to whatever form of chart that's available here. Uh, but for the video, I'm gonna stick to the candlestick chart. Now this has a few more options than the previous one, which was the match trader had, uh, which was I think very basic. It only had uh, candlesticks and line. So let's keep moving on. Next, we have got your uh, indicators. So this, I think, has a lot more indicators available than the other two, um, but I'm not sure if you can actually add your own created indicators. I think you can. I'm look, gonna look into that, but if you guys do want another video and you guys request another video um, and that question does come up, then I will definitely answer that for you. Um, but yeah, any, any one you want here, you can add in. So let's just say, for example, trend. Let's add in our, what are we going to put in here? Let's just do a simple moving average, okay? There we go. So you've got your moving average. Uh, there we go. It is, okay, that's the same thing. Moving average and it is, okay. There it is. There's your moving average. And you'll see over here, you can close it from there. But you also, with this little icon with that looks like it's got uh, layers on, that shows you all your drawings and indicators. So that's a cool one. If you click on that, you can actually see everything that's on this chart. Indicators and drawings uh, relative to whichever chart you're looking at. So drawings, nothing at the moment. Indicators, we've got that one. So I can close it there or I can close it from up here. Okay, so you can add on your charts uh, add your indicators that way. And then this also will just hide all drawings. This one over here, it will save. So if you have got a chart set up for a specific strategy, you can basically save it over here, save that template. So let's just look at the trend one, for example. If I click the trend one, that's how it's set up. That's what it'll look like. Uh, and then I go back to that and I check it again. I don't want that. Um, and it should go back to the default the default template. All right, so let's keep moving on guys. So that's just what you would do. You would just use that to save your chart and then you can use those to actually click on those, uh, that chart or that setup for a strategy, for example. Next, we've got your timeframes is what it is. It's you're very basic, but you can actually, you have a little bit more control over here. You can actually add whichever timeframes you want and take off whatever timeframes you want, okay? Which I don't think the other two had that option. So we just keep it at that. I'm gonna go down to the five minute because that's what we're gonna use to, to just explain. Um, so let's keep moving on. That's that, that's that. You can also see it in, in uh, tick in Renko, in range, all of those. I'm gonna keep standard time frame for now, okay? So that's everything there. Now let's just go to the right here. This is where all your tools are. You've got your crosshair where you can actually just get some information, drag, click it and drag, and it gives you how many pips from there to there. Um, 
that's what that is and then you've got a whole array of different tools here that, you know all your drawing tools are over here guys trend line horizontal i'm not going to go through every single one pencil uh your fibonacci for example is over here this is your fib tool you can see there fib tool and you can change your settings click on that little icon change your settings which we're not going to do now because uh, everyone knows what a fib tool is so i'm not going to go into too much deep detail about the tool so i just want to kind of fire through this this is where all your tools are guys very basic now let's get straight into actually placing some orders okay so if you were to click on these buy and sell over here these are direct orders and if i click for example let's say buy right over here i click the buy button 0 0.01 now i'm in that trade okay i'm in that trade i'm directly in that trade and you can see here my position is there this is my positions these are orders this is history etc etc this is everything all your information there so now you can see i'm in a position and i'm going to close this i can either close it right over there or i can close it over here actually go mouse on it and i can close that just like that close it okay so now let's do another one just to show you guys some stop losses and some take profits uh, again let's just take a buy 0 0.01 now i mouse over and i can click my take profit and i just drag it up as simple as that there's my take profit pull this down there's my stop loss and just like that that's my order in place stop loss take profit profit and this is pushing further down so if i wanted to close this i can close it there like i said or I can close it down the bottom here in the actual position, same thing, okay? So that's how you would do this. So now let's say I want to do an, uh, an order, a, pen, a pending order. Right over here, I just right click on the chart. I'm not even gonna talk about this because you can do it through the new order. Now, the only reason I would do it through the new order is because it can give you a little bit of information on the actual size of your trade, for example. So you can say, okay, let's do a limit a sell limit uh, and we're going to do it at 70,200 for example okay 70,200 like that uh, that's where my limit is going to be and I'm going to do 0 0.02 now if I did 0 0.002 and my stop loss stop loss was at 7,300 then uh, I'd be losing two dollars so this is how you could you could do a little bit of you know working out your lot size based on your percentage you can actually use the percentage if you want um, for example now if i increase my lot size you can see now three dollars increase it again four dollars that's what i'd lose at that stop loss okay so this is how you could just very quickly work out what your size what your what your trade is going to look like or you could just use, uh, if you have been using a, uh, a calculator, like for example, I use a lot size calculator on baby pips. It's always served me well. I can get my, my calculations very quickly. And that way I know exactly how much I'm going to risk. So for example, let's say I knew that 1% over here would be, let's go with 0 0.03, for example, okay? I would right click and say, I'm going to take a cell right over there, 0 0.03. And it's simple as that, right click, take your cell simple as that now i can also say okay what am i going to do i'm going to add a stop loss to this hold on i'm going to add a stop loss i'm going to put my stop loss up there and that tells you straight away if, if that hits i'm going to lose six dollars so your information is all there i'm going to take my take profit to over there and that's my pending order okay that's how you place a pending order as simple as that if you want to close it you just click on the close button uh, and then your orders would show up there. I forgot to show you, but they would show there. So now let's talk about a, let's do another one where we are taking a buy again. Okay, we're in a position. Uh, let's just put in our stop loss over there and let's put in our take profit over there, right? So that is that. Now, what if I wanted to take partials? You can do it by clicking this little one over here. My take profit, my first one, I'm gonna take off 0 0.02. Um, and i i don't i'm not going to move it to break even uh how many pips is that do we do it on pips let's have a look server so take profit at 71 it's saying 71 26 17. so let's do so we can't actually put the price in there so let's oh it's already on it's on the thing so let's go to Let's go to about 25 pips, okay? There we go, so we apply that. So there's, here we go, we can use this. We can just drag it up 
So I'm going to take profit. My first take profit is going to be there. It's going to take of 0.02, and then it's going to take the remainder up there. And I can even further manage that by saying, as soon as this take profit hits, I'm going to remove, I'm going to pull my stop to break even. So it's really cool. You can do that as well. So that's one way you can manage your trades like that. Let's see if it actually actually works. Okay, so I'm gonna actually remove this now. Let's just actually do it manually, okay? So let's have a look. Let's do 0 0.04, okay? We are going to buy. Okay, so we're in for 0 0.04 right over here. So now what I want to do is I'm going to take off a some position here. I'm gonna click that and I'm gonna take off 0 0.02. And obviously we are close okay i want to close okay so yeah i'm selling because i'm in a buy obviously i want to close half of it so i'm going to close that and position partially closed and i say okay okay so now you can see 0 0.02 of my position is left open it's as simple as that if you want to close the rest you just click on the close position and the rest is closed okay so that's how you would you would enter into a uh, a sell limit now if you wanted to do a buy stop you can do the same thing which means as it hits there i'm buying as long as you guys know what a limit and a stop is i'm not going to be talking about that so that's that's your basic in and out of trades guys um that's kind of what i went over with the uh the other two so i'm going to leave it there guys that your interface is very simple um if you guys want to ask any more questions about what to do how to do certain things ask the questions and then i will compile a list of all the questions i've got and if i get enough i will do a more in-depth video on c traders so let me know if you guys want to see more than that but this was just a basic video just to go over the interface this is what it looks like and then as i promised i will also show you guys so over on my vps where i'm actually trading with uh, titan this is where i copy my trades over so as you can see on the left, I've got uh, MT5. That's where I'll pull uh, Titan X onto, and that's where Titan does its work. And then over here, I use a copier called Heron Copier, and this is where this will copy on, and that's why I've got that like that. I'm not going to be talking about how I do that today. Um, if you guys want to actually see a whole video about uh, how that actually works, then I can do a video on that, uh, but you guys just have to request it. Um, and if, we, if I get enough requests, I can do a whole video, which is just talking about how to copy from MT5 over to uh, the C Trader platform. So that's what I do. That's how I am trading my uh, Titan. Now, it, I do want to take this opportunity to actually talk a little bit about Titan, guys. Titan at the moment, Titan X, Titan AC, which is our EA, Blue, Blue Edges EA, we use a program called the Prop Farming Blueprint, which basically is uh, the whole community working together. We give you the blueprint, everything you need to do to basically pass challenges and also take money from them. And we currently have about 700 plus of our community members that have got funded with prop firms, which is crazy to think. 700 traders using Titan and the Prop Farming Blueprint have got uh, funded. Um, I've currently got four funded accounts. I'm trading another, um, not right now, but I will be starting up again. I've got them ready to go. I'll be looking at trading another um, seven challenges because my goal is to get to the million. I want to be one of the uh, seven funded club members. And that's another challenge we have going on with our, our members. And we've currently got, I think it is 14, 13 or 14 members from our community that have been funded over a million dollars which is just nuts so and it's even got better because we now have implemented something called the hedge bot which uh, basically just makes the whole thing risk-free and how does it do that basically you will have a live account running at the same time as your challenge account and if you ev even if you lose your challenge you will gain the amount for the buy-in for the for the buy-in of the challenge back on that live account so you essentially will lose your funded account or lose your challenge but you'll regain the amount that it costs you to buy into the challenge and then you can just buy back in so you essentially will never lose that challenge fee so it's great if you guys want more information please make sure you check out our link down below. It'll take you to the Prop Farming Blueprints website where you can request more information. We've got a video on there that explains everything as well. So make sure you check that out. If you haven't heard of this, 
you know, you've got to just jump onto this because it is, it's, it's made trading so easy. But that's it from me, guys. I'm going to be doing loads more of these videos where I'm talking about platforms, talking about how to copy trade and all that good stuff. So make sure you stay tuned, subscribe if you're not, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.